and welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am gonna be doing a lot today. I got up a little while ago. I showered and everything, and I'm about to actually be heading out soon. I'm gonna be finishing up eating everything and finishing getting ready. I just have to go and run some errands, and I'm gonna do that while I still have time this morning. Just got some things to do, and so I'm not gonna be going to the office. I'm just gonna be getting things done off campus. It's it's so cold this morning. Oh my gosh, not in here. Actually, I had the temperature down overnight, like while everyone was sleeping. As soon as I woke up, I turned the temperature back up a little bit so that's just how I'm gonna try and save money and everything we did pretty well on like the heating and stuff but electricity and water this past month was the bill went up and so I'm gonna try and compensate a little bit with that and we've been doing pretty good about it I've only had one complaint from my brother because he was cold because he just sits downstairs and stuff and I'm pretty active around the house I do a lot of the cleaning and stuff so I've never really complained but I started actually utilizing a much thicker blanket on top of the one that I already have so it's a big thick knit wool blanket that my Nana made like years ago so that's actually been helping out a lot so if you're in one of the states that's been getting cold recently which is most of the eastern side of the US I'm not sure how it is on the west right now but we've had a cold front the last couple of days and it's miserable I woke up and it was like 16 degrees outside and a couple of us including I think my boss even stayed home because his water and electricity were out so <laughs> not fun at all I mean ours is fine over here so praying and hoping that uh, nothing like that happens here so stay warm stay dry Stay safe out there. I'm about to make breakfast. We got eggs here. That's not all I'm going to be making today. I got the, the butter, actual butter, just cream and a little bit of salt in it. And that's going to be the thing that I use to grease up the pan. And then I have Eggman's best eggs. I'm going to put in some mozzarella cheese and just a dab of milk. So let's get started. <laughs> I guess I didn't mention, um, I am taking some pills here. I got a multivitamin, I have fish oil, and I also have a CLA pill, which I take two of these and two of the fish oils. The CLA is just basically a weight management thing because when you eat as much as I do, you kind of make sure that you don't gain the wrong kind of weight. That just helps with it. Sure, I could just eat chicken and vegetables and stuff, which I eat a lot of both, but I do like my steak and Sour Patch Kids, some ice cream every now and then. I'm in the fine balance of dirty bulking and clean bulking. I have to do that in order to gain the weight and not go crazy from not seeing any results. So basically that's how I'm doing it. I got my eggs here. I also made granola and yogurt and I also have my orange juice here. So I'm going to eat this really quick and then I'm going to go and run a couple of errands because I want to hit those up in the golden hour of the least amount of traffic from Lynchburg right now. I got home just a little bit ago from, <coughs> sorry, I've been down on a protein shake. Oh, whew. Um, anyway, so I went to Petopia, a pet store here in Lynchburg. I almost bought a dog. I was pretty close to getting a dog today. I was just financially not ready yet. It was a Great Dane, a little eight-week-old puppy. Blue Merle color is what it's called. Just like kind of bluish gray with um, black spots. Adorable little dog. I texted Meg a picture of it. She kind of freaked out a little bit. She's like, oh my gosh, so cute. Do not leave that store without it. I'm like, I am not ready. Did I get it yet? When she comes back, we're definitely going to look at it. Hopefully they're open when we go to look. But the Great Danes do not last long in that store because people go and buy them. For a city that apparently buys the Great Danes so quickly, I never see the Great Danes anywhere around here. And that's not a very extremely popular pet store. It's one of like probably five around here within about 20 minutes or so. Just pets and stuff that they sell. It's a smaller one. So I'm just like, why don't I ever see any like Great Danes around here? Like I'll see one literally every once in a blue moon. It's very rare that I actually get to see a Great Dane around here. I'm not like super homebody or something like that. I go out and I'm just like, I never see Great Danes around here. Maybe I just have to go to a park or something like that. It was adorable. Yeah, I took a picture of it right here. Just zoom in a little bit there. You can kind of see it there, I guess. 
the thing was, it, it's like I have like a little zipper on my sweatshirt right here, just kind of a decoration. And that thing was just kind of going at it and stuff. It was so cute. It had no name or anything because, of course, you get a name and you get attached to it. They had not even given it a name or anything. So I guess pet stores don't really do that. So my brother's on the way here. My youngest brother, he had school. And so my other brother, John, went to pick him up. I, I guess we're kind of debating if we want to go to the gym or not today. And if we do, we're thinking about going to a kind of new place called Kinetics because our gym is likely closing if someone doesn't buy it up by the end of the month. So we might go check it out just to see exactly if we'd like it or not. And if we do, then I guess we'll get a family membership there. If not, then it's like good luck finding another gym because we don't really have much other option because we have like Planet Fitness here. We have my alma mater, LU. They have a gym, but you have to be either student or faculty to go there. If you're an alumni and you want to go there, then you have to sign up like during a school break. So like right now, I would have to sign up. Meg doesn't want to go there because when you go to a gym, you want to just be able to go in there and do your thing and get out. And that's not what happens. It's full of college guys. At Gold's, it's just, you know, everyone's professional and super friendly and everything. They have almost everything that we ever wanted to do. And so we might go check that out. But a freaking night. I have driven everywhere today. Basically, John's car, 1993 SUV, it ran out of gas. The light came on. He had like probably about 10 to 15 miles of driving after the E line. That's when his car ran out of gas. Well, before that, he had gone, I guess, like three days before running out of gas. I don't know how many miles he had driven. And he actually had a gas can the last time this happened. This time he didn't have a gas can. So Jason had to call me and they were on their way home, maybe less than five minutes away. So I had to go and pick them up. I was just waiting for them to come home so we can eat and go to the gym. We went to the gym. We had a great time at the gym. It was wonderful. When we came back, I really quick got something to eat and then I took Jason back to his place because he still lives with our family. We had to go to my grandparents' house because they had a gas can. It's like a three gallon gas can with, with about a fourth full. And then we had to get a couple of funnels so that John could actually feed the gas into his car. Well, we got to his car and then he was just trying to put the gas in there. There was soil caked onto the bottom of the funnel. The little bit of gas that was in there apparently I guess had gone into the soil and not made a single drop into the car. So we had to turn around and go to sheets, basically fill up the gas can, which actually has a five gallon gas can. So we put like five bucks in there and then we drove back to his car, finally got it going. It was just, oh my gosh. I'm like, I need to get home. I'm gonna be able to edit this vlog and then I need to get to bed because I'm waking up early to go to work tomorrow. And he doesn't work right now. So it's like, he's not feeling the whole, I gotta get home and go to bed or anything and get up early. So I was like, I'm trying to wrap this thing up because it'll take me probably another hour or two of editing this vlog. I meant to be editing throughout the day, but I got distracted by so many other things I was doing today, events throughout the day that kind of took me away from doing that. So it happens, you know, when, when you tell people, oh, I'm not going to be at the office today, it's like, you're free. And I'm really not. I'm just taking time away from the office to focus on stuff that, I, that you know, I want to do that I need to get done. So that's just what happened. I'm trying to stay positive with it all. You know, things happen for a reason. I'm wearing my Mickey workout shirt that my mom got me for Christmas, so I'm happy about that. So there's that. Got a lot of smiles and compliments at the gym tonight. It's definitely a conversation starter. So I'm going to be calling it a night because I do want to get this editing done. I don't want to have to worry about tomorrow morning because I want to be able to focus on work and stuff tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have any suggestions for stuff I should talk about. And I'll catch you guys later.